actually impacted by the outage, but did not provide details. It says, we believe we have contacted potentially impacted customers, but if someone needs to talk to us about their situation, our call centers are always available. In the statement announcing the compensation, AT&T apologized for the uh, network outage. They go on to say, we recognize the frustration this outage has caused and know we let many of our customers down, the company said. We understand this may have impacted their ability to connect with family, friends, and others. Small business owners may have been impacted, potentially disrupting an essential way they connect with their own customers. Hmm. They also said we want to reassure our customers of our commitment to reliability and reliably connect with them anytime, anywhere. Now that's what the statement continued. And then it went on to say we also uh, are taking steps to prevent this from happening again in the future. That'd be great. Our priority is to continuously improve and be sure our customers stay connected. Now more than 70,000 customers were impacted by Thursday's outages according to Down Dick uh, detector.com. It says the most affected locations were Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Indianapolis, Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, Dallas, and New York City. It says customers first reported the outage around 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. It says AT&T acknowledged the issue in updates posted on its website at 11.15 a.m. Okay, Eastern Time and marked the situation as resolved roughly four hours later. The company said it believed the outage was caused by applying and executing the wrong process as it expanded its network. It says Cricket saw a peak of 13,638 reports of outages, according to downdetector.com. It said on its website that the issue was resolved around two hours after publicly announcing it. Now, Time reached out to Cricket to find out if there were any compensation plans. And on Thursday, a person who self-identified as a Cricket customer said on X, which is formerly known as Twitter, that they nearly missed work because they couldn't use their mobile data for directions and asked for a free month of service. And the Cricket wireless account responded. Uh, we might not be able to provide a compensation once the outage ends. Our top priority now is to get this resolved as soon as possible. So I don't know what you guys may think about that. Let me read that one more again. On Thursday, a person who self-identified as a Cricket customer said on X, aka Twitter, that they nearly missed work because they couldn't use their data for directions and asked for a free month of service and then the, the representative um, said we might not, we might be we might be able to provide a compensation once the outage ends. Hmm. Our top priority now is to get this resolved as soon as possible. I don't know. It kind of sounds like a no to me. Um, I don't know if if their customers and their patrons are their uh, priority and they feel like they let them down. I think they should be a bit more open to what they're saying that uh, to compensate everyone. Okay, I don't know, it's just my opinion. What do you guys think? All right, so I decided to go and see what else I could find out about the um, AT&T um, network outage. And I found some inter uh, information on CNN. Um, so I'm going to read some of it. It was posted um, so a week ago. It says AT&T um, talks about reimbursing customers after this massive network outage. Um, and it was um, written by uh, Eva uh, Roddenberg. It says AT&T is reimbursing customers for the nearly 12-hour network outage on Thursday that the company announced in a news release. The mobile uh, network will issue a $5 credit to potentially impacted AT&T wireless customers, which it says is the average cost of a full day of service, and it's in um, quotation marks. 
we recognize the uh, frustration this outage has caused and we know we let many of our customers down. Uh, the company said late Saturday. We understand this may have impacted their ability to connect with their friends, family, and others. It also talks about small business owners, just like in the previous uh, article. And um, it says the credit will not apply also to what they said already. And then they said AT&T acquired Cricket in 2014 for about $1.2 billion. It said the network outage, which was first reported on Thursday at that same time, uh, prevented tens of thousands of uh, subscribers across the United States from fully accessing calls, texts, internet, and emergency services. AT&T had encountered sporadic service interruptions in the days leading up to the outage. See, this gives a little bit more information. Uh, including a temporary 911 outage in some parts of the southeast. Now, while regional disruptions to wireless service happen occasionally, they say that prolonged, now they say this, prolonged nationwide outages are rare. The um, F, uh, Federal Communications Commission confirmed Thursday it was investigating the incident. Now, in the other article, it said that it was simply expanding its network, making it seem like that might have been like a side effect um, to expanding the network. But in this particular article, it's making it seem like something actually took place um, in order for them to investigate it. That's just my, maybe I'm, I'm taking it um, not in the right way. So it says the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency also told CNN on Thursday it was working closely with AT&T to understand the cause of the outage and its impacts and stand uh, ready to offer any existing uh, assistance needed. Now it says several hours after service was restored, AT&T released an update stating the outage seemed to be the result of an internal, okay, here we go, internal issue, not a cybersecurity threat. Based on our initial review, we believe that today's outage was caused by the application and execution of an incorrect process. Okay, it's used as we were expanding our network, the company said. Now, on Saturday, AT&T re uh, reiterated it was taking steps to prevent, okay, from it happening in the future. just listening to Teachable Moments with April podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our other social media platforms, TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, YouTube, and now Rumble. You can also leave us feedback in three ways. In the interactive